Thank you for joining me this evening. Uh, we're going to continue our study about the rapture and talk more about the fact is that uh, we've been promised in the Word, in the Scriptures, that those that are in Messiah, those that are part of the church, born again, Jew and Gentile, true believers in Messiah, will escape the, the wrath that is to come. And we've been promised by, the, by our Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, that he was coming back for us to take us to be where he is and where he is now is in the father's house now you'll find this in the gospel of john chapter 14 that he said and told his disciples that he was going away and that he was going to prepare a place for us that where he was we would there be also and again we know that he's making reference to the fact that he was going to the, the father's house which is in the shamayim in the heaven and he said that he was coming back to take us to be where he was. Now, he did not say in that verse that he was coming back to, to, to live here on the earth with us. Now, we are going to be coming back with him at the end of the tribulation period, seven years of Daniel's 70th week or Jacob's trouble. And we were ruling and reigned with him, but our, our home is not, this, is not on this earth. If you're reading the book of Revelation, chapter 21 and chapter 22, you'll find out that the new Jerusalem that will be coming down out of heaven, prepared as a bride for a husband, which is, which is really where the bride of the Messiah will reside. This is, that will be our home. And uh, even though we'll have access to the earth, our home, those that are, have died in Messiah and those that have been raptured at the, at the, at the time of the rapture, those that have of the true bride of the Messiah, our home is in the new Jerusalem, and um, which is not on this earth. It's, it's prepared as a city that Yahushua made reference to in John chapter 14, where he said he was going to prepare a place for us. And that place, I believe, is the new Jerusalem that he has prepared for us. And that will be our home. Even though we will have, we'll be coming back with the Messiah at the second coming uh, to rule and reign with him, our home will be in the new Jerusalem. <laughs> oh boy, that's going to be a nice place to live, I tell you. Um, but anyway, uh, I want to go back and read uh, Luke chapter 21, verse 34. We've talked about this verse uh, a couple times, and I want to go back and just highlight some more about what this verse is, is revealing to us. Now, of course, this is the Messiah, Yahushua, speaking, and he's talking to his disciples. Now, keep in mind of who he's talking to, and in reference to what he's talking about. Now he's talking about, in this discourse, he's talking about the, uh, the end of the times, uh, or the end times, and how things will play out. He talks about the fact, about the, the tribulation coming upon the earth, uh, a time of great distress, and that there's no other time like it in the history of the earth. It's a time that the, the prophet Isaiah said, revealed in Isaiah chapter 3, 13 as a, a day of, of, of terribleness, a day of darkness, a day of gloominess. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a day of bitterness where people will be um, just terrified about the things that are going on in the earth. We also know by reading the book of Revelation that uh, over one half of the world's population will perish during this seven year time frame. So you can understand that this is not going to be a good time. But how do we escape this time frame? Well, how do we, how as we as believers, and of course there's the erroneous teaching out there that there is no rapture and that the church will have to go through the tribulation. And there's so many verses that dispute that kind of thinking. Uh, I'm convinced that that uh, deception is instigated by the enemy because he would like to rob your joy, my joy, and the comfort that's provided in the fact that that we would not have to go through that time frame because we were not appointed to Yahuwah's wrath, but to obtain salvation through Yahusha Hamashiach. The, the wrath of Yahuwah is reserved for the ungodly, for the unrighteous, and for the sinners. It's not reserved for the righteous. And if you're born again of the Spirit by the Ruach HaKadosh, if you're born again, then you are the righteous one, the Scripture declares. And we will not go through that time frame of, that's reserved for the, the sinners and to remove them off the earth and, resu and reserved for Jacob's trouble, which is Israel's trouble, 
to bring them to the realization of who their Messiah is, and then a remnant of Yasharel will be saved and come to know Yahusha as their Mashiach, their Messiah. But he says in verse uh, 34, chapter 21, he says, Take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unaware. So what he's saying here, right here, is don't be caught up in just doing what's going on in the world in so much that you're so worldly minded that you're not spiritually minded. You're not sensitive to what's going on in the earth. See, but this is this is directed to to uh, to people who do not know the Messiah, do not know the Messiah, those that are born again. Now I realize that there are, there's people, uh, believers in the church today, who have no clue of what's going on as far as how close we are to the return uh, of the Messiah and the rapture of the church. But but the the, the point is he's try, he is communicating to us, not just to us, but he's communicating to those who do not know him as their savior because the only way that anyone can escape what's about to come on the earth this time frame is to be born again of the Ruach HaKadosh. Now I've shared with you in the past that a lot of people want to try to say that only the real spiritual believers will be able to to go up in the rapture or those that only are watching and praying. The watching and the praying is essential so we know what time of, of time that we're living in but it's also essential for those that do not know the Savior and think that they have, you know, time to uh, more time to to make up their mind as far as uh, where they believe them that Yahusha is the Messiah, or to make them realize that that there is no time to waste. Time is uh, today is the day of salvation, and so for those who do not know, then we're to proclaim to them of this time frame that we're in right now, that we're close to the return of the Messiah, and today is the day of salvation, and only those that have been born again of the Ruach HaKadosh shall escape this terrible time frame. We'll continue this on our next uh, teaching session, so uh, thank you all for sharing my videos. I appreciate that, and, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, please encourage others to do so. If you haven't, you please do, do also. And... Um, and again, make use of all the videos. There's over 1,300 videos that you can watch and view that can help minister to you. And until next time, Shalom.